So originally, I doubted that the Magnum would actually be a weapon inside of Destiny 2. I saw some of the screenshots of what looked like a battle rifle, and I thought, sure, a pulse rifle, why not? But then some rumors were going around that we would actually be getting the OG Magnum from Halo 1 inside of Destiny 2. And by God, Bungie has done it. Now, they didn't just give us some little nerfy version of this sidearm. Fellas, I gotta tell you right now, this sidearm absolutely wrecks. It is probably the most disgusting weapon inside of Destiny 2's crew at the moment and really it's going to reflect next week when trials comes back because you're going to be seeing people use this sidearm the best thing i can relate this weapon to is og luna's how and not forgotten that's how disgusting this weapon is now bungie has tried to make an aim to make this weapon a little more balanced despite its ability to three tap from crazy crazy ranges like upwards to 50 meters in range their way of balancing it though is actually making this sidearm a special weapon now it's present in the kinetic slot it shoots at 200 rounds per minute, but it consumes special ammo. Now, inside of Crucible, you only start with eight shots, but eight shots is plenty to get two guaranteed kills. You can either land two crits into body, or you can reach its optimal time to kill of 0.6 seconds in three crits. You see why I said this weapon is very similar to like Luna's How Not Forgotten? Now, the weapon comes with the perk Full Stop, oversized sidearm with extended range, heavy caliber rounds, fires full auto with increased rate of fire, deals increased precision damage to unshielded targets. Now the trade on this weapon actually kind of works against that full auto function that was just mentioned called pace yourself. Tapping the trigger gives this weapon less recoil and improves accuracy. And let me tell you fellas, tapping this thing, if you remember playing SWAT back inside of Halo, you're going to feel right at home with this weapon. It can three tap from crazy ranges further than any hand cannon in the game. And its hitbox is literally the size of an entire guardian's body. I'm landing crits that I have no business landing. Now look at this stats of the weapon it's obviously really good great range great stability zoom is at plus 20 aim assist is at 60 to be quite honest with you it's really not a fair comparison to other sidearms as this weapon really performs more like a hand cannon than it does a sidearm now it's exotic catalyst is where things start to get pretty interesting with this weapon and it really dips into the novelty and big shout out to Callan for allowing us to get on his account because i wanted to test everything under the sun with this exotic catalyst now this exotic catalyst does require you to get rank 16 there with Zer through Dares of Eternity, and that requires you somewhere around like 15 to 20 hours of that six player game mode. So, yes, it is kind of a grind, but upon getting that exotic catalyst and then getting somewhere around 700 kills with it, you will unlock the perk The Rock. Now, it states that for several seconds after a final blow, holding your reload button will consume part of your ammo reserves and convert your next thrown grenade into a fragmentation grenade. Essentially, guys, the frag grenade from Halo. Now, it actually consumes six special ammo which inside of pvp is kind of a yikes considering you only have eight shots that you spawn with as far as its forgiveness though as long as you hold that reload function within five seconds after getting the precision final blow you can then gain the frag grenade what's so cool is you can actually look down below and you can see where the frag grenade takes the place of your regular grenade now this doesn't mean it consumes your regular grenade it actually just gives you a whole new grenade so if you wanted to actually throw two grenades in a row you can now inside of pvp this actually does about 180 damage but if you land it just right and i mean right under the feet of your opponent it will get you the one hit ko and what's funny your opponent will actually see that they were killed by the rock which i find to be hilarious because obtaining the rock really does require drive and power and staying hungry and consuming quite literally your special ammo thus devouring it that's why we need a lord tab with the rock in it but yes you can obtain a frag grenade inside of pvp to potentially get the one hit ko with you can even boost yourself up with it we even saw that in the trailer it's got some levels of momentum there in its explosion and from what we've seen this grenade is like a kinetic grenade it's not tied to any specific element so you won't be able to take advantage of it with your subclasses so things like heat rises devour i even tried to consume this grenade for devour it did not consume the grenade guys as devour heat rises and pretty much anything that's tied into your subclass requires you to use your elemental grenade itself and not necessarily this rock that's been granted to you so those subclass abilities that pulls from your grenades requires you to put in the work, put in the hours, and will only take what's ours. As in, only take from its own subclass. Fellas, just go with it, okay? Just go with it. Now, as far as exotics go, that dips in and synergizes with this grenade, it was actually amazing. Pretty much everything that is tied to grenade damage works here. And I'm talking things like Heart of Inmost Light with Overflowing Light. The synergy here in gaining empowering when popping barricades, using my melee, and even using the rock grenade here 
here was all granting me empower and it was fantastic synergy here because it allowed me to constantly keep refreshing things granting myself that times to empower for all my abilities but even further i wanted to know could this actually work with certain mods say for instance energy converter where while charged with light using your grenade grants you super energy and consumes all the stacks of charge with light this actually does grant you super energy just like you would if you were throwing your own grenade and then other mods like heal thyself where you can actually gain health upon grenade final blows and someone even brought up on stream can these frag grenades actually produce solar elemental wells with say a mod like explosive well maker which states that rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well and yes it does synergize here with the rock and produce solar elemental wells fellas there is a build here that we are going to start to tap into over the next week or so which will involve heart of inmost light a lot of these elemental well mods and us essentially raining frag grenades and other things on our enemies now the damage of the grenade really doesn't outweigh just doing flat out six shots from the sidearm itself especially if the six shots are crit shots but if you're getting multi kills with the grenade and if you have enough special ammo in the room with you then why not as not only is it benefiting here from the ability regeneration of heart of inmost light but it's also benefiting from the damage that heart of inmost light and empowering grants yes just like any other grenade these frag grenades are also getting a buff there in their damage i was pleasantly surprised to see how well it synergized with everything and that it's not actually separated from mods and other exotics that benefit grenades now armatarium which actually grants you two grenades does not work here with the rock and these frag grenades you can't get two of them what you can do though is actually have a rock ready and this frag grenade ready and actually throw it and immediately either get a precision kill or be coming off of a precision kill and grant yourself another back-to-back -back frag grenade again as long as you have six special ammo you will always grant yourself a frag grenade when holding your reload button after getting a precision kill within five seconds now i know that the frag grenades and the rock and all this stuff is not necessarily the most meta thing but what it does show us is that the way it synergizes with current exotics and current mods it's very likely in the future if we get artifact mods that benefits grenades in some way and it's not tied to an elemental type of grenade forerunner and the rock here will also benefit from those artifact mods so just something to keep in mind guys we'll continue to play around with some builds here now as far as forerunner and its abilities inside of pvp having that 0.6 time to kill value and 50 meters in range and also its hip fire capabilities within that 20 25 meters of range and lower makes this weapon extremely disgusting i think overall though aiming down sights and snagging those three taps was so easy because by the time an enemy even decided to square up with you it was already half a second at least and nine times out of ten they were already dead it's crazy to me how good this weapon is performing and i do see it being a little too hot over the next few weeks or until bungie decides to look at forerunner what i do see them doing is actually limiting the range as i actually like how potent this weapon is and i don't want to see its damage taken away considering it is a special sidearm trials is really going to be the test though to showcase how good forerunner is and if people are actually going to be using it because at the end of the day this is a special weapon and would players give up their special weapon like a shotgun or even a sniper rifle for this sidearm for me i would and i plan on using it a bunch inside of trials so guys try out forerunner aka the magnum yourself it is a fantastic weapon it is by far one of the hottest guns inside of crucible with a deadly time to kill value and the novelty that's tied into it especially with that exotic catalyst is a lot of fun my only suggestion to anyone that is going against a forerunner if you're looking to win that 1v1 is a either get the first shot off before they do or b just try to flinch them and that is one area where forerunner struggles a little bit and i do actually suggest rocking double unflinching mods for forerunner as there were times that i would just get over flinched when using this sidearm as it is a little zoomy but for my players that are wanting to optimize this sidearm and just go around three tapping everything that you see i would suggest playing almost with the same mindset that you used to play when playing halo swat right play for those headshots go for that three tap pace the shots even if you're pacing a little slower than its maximum rate of fire say you're shooting only like at 180 rounds per minute you're still three tapping here fellas it's much better that you pace your shots and slow that rate of firing down just a little bit and even if you drift down to 180 rounds per minute you're still talking a 0.67 time to kill value at the end of the day guys i'm getting huge magnificent how vibes but even as disgusting as luna's how and not forgotten was which it was especially back in its heyday when it could two tap i think forerunner considering its range and its ease of use is even more disgusting than that well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always
that like button like your mama told you right.